Green Mage and Geomancer aren't dead. In fact, I'm quite confident that they were direct inspirations towards the kit of Pictomancer, so if you wanted their actual playstyles and not just their aesthetic that you can still obtain through Glamour, I'm confident that what you are looking for you can find in the Pictomancer. Let's go over the Geomancer first because this is going to really flesh out the point really well. So we're going to cite the MMORPG Final Fantasy XI's description and immediately you can see that I've underlined a ton from the description basic gameplay loop because it is just hitting what the Pictomancer is going to do. Like beat for beat. I'm reading Pictomancer off of this. So the Geomancer description says, These arcane spellcasters harness the power of Geomancer to strengthen allies, enervate enemies, and provide much needed support to their parties. They assume many of the same support specialist roles Corsairs and Bards do, and while they may not pack as much offensive firepower as Black Mages, they can employ elemental magic with ease. Hold that thought, we're going to quickly recap Pictomancer. So during the fan fest, we had official live translation directly stating Pictomancer does not simply attack, they also have magic that can buff their party. We wouldn't say it's a full support job, but it's not as attack focused as Black Mage. This is an official translation directly live during FanFest, meaning that there's no little wishy-washy interpretations, this is a direct translation. Which I'll also bring up that they also stated outright that Pictomancer will not have revive utility, which universally outside of body check mechanics that we have seen, we can all agree is the single number one most powerful utility in the game, and the developers absolutely know this. They are not stupid, our developers know that, and so to bring it up to the level of a red mage and summoner, that do bring revive in the utility department, we're likely going to get tremendous amounts of impactful utility outside of just buffing the team's direct damage. Which obviously with what they said, the Pictomancer will clearly do a lot of handing out their own damage to allies in the form of buffs like what Dancer and Bard do, but without that almighty revive button, Pictomancer's non-DPS utility, so the things that aren't directly impacting their RDPS value, will need to be elevated in order for the Pictomancer to be competitive with the Red Mage and the Summoner. Which is amazing for a ton of reasons we're going to get into later. Let's go back to the Geomancer description, unpack it, and talk about why Pictomancer is just Geomancer with paint. From the FanFest description and translations, the Pictomancer is going to support the party, so a job like a ranged physical DPS bar that we have in Final Fantasy XIV that is directly said, the bard is directly said in this Geomancer description, is going to bathe the field in Final Fantasy XIV today in tons of air effect buffs ranging from songs, battle voice, radiant finale, AoE mitigation with Trobador, we have also a single target healing amp that they can put on say a tank, and even a status effect cleanse with Warden's Pian, and that's ignoring other role actions like slows and roots which are applicable outside of formal raid content to help in say deep dungeons a metric ton. But directly, and we just went over the Bard's kit, we can see that the Bard was cited in the Geomancer's description. I don't think this is an accident, especially when you consider during Yoshi P's explanation of the support of Pictomancer, he directly cited Black Mage, and Black Mage is directly said in that Geomancer post saying that the Geomancer doesn't have the firepower of Black Mage. It's almost a one-to-one -one description. Now, Pictomancer, as I just broke down a few days ago in my video, I'll I could keep it in the pinned comment in the description of the core mechanics of Fictomancer is really using elemental magic just like the Geomancer has in its description. Lastly, and incredibly important for this comparison, is that Geomancer's playstyle involves placing down environments which Geomancers are calling colors. I'm reading it like paint colors, but that could also just be my English eyes doing it to me. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but it states that these area of effect environments can be placed down on the field by a Geomancer. Pictomancer has been directly translated both verbally and on the slides to said to be able to create environments. And so with them being able to create environments, I respectfully do not know how much closer to the Geomancer's actual playstyle you could get outside of the specific aesthetic, which you could get pretty close to with Glamour. Remember that we're also using a wand in game and FF11 armors do exist in game, like you can get if you're from Eureka. You could with enough paintbrush and palette glamours in the game that'll only be added over time, probably pull off a convincing Geomancer glamour, like you could maybe have some palette that looks almost like a bell, then the wand almost look like the paintbrush looks almost like a wand, I think you could get there. And so if you're a Geomancer enthusiast that is disappointed right now, I would not scoff at the Pictomancer. You are getting a Geomancer that just really, really likes art. They don't want to paint with like dirt, they're just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get an angry comment for that. They want to paint with paint. They just like all the colors of the rainbow. They don't want to just paint with like browns and beiges and 
Uh, yeah, I'm getting an angry comment for that. Now, Green Mage literally had its icon held by Kryle's hand in the actual cutscene in the game. Do you think the development team ignored or somehow pretends that they don't know that Green Mage exists? Please, please don't insult our developers like that. They know exactly what they did. That was bait and I called it. I knew, I'm just like, this is a little too obvious, this is bait. But that means Green Mage is on their minds. Green Mage is on their minds for sure. That's way too much effort to go to for, oh, it's just a quinky dick. That, that is the Green Mage icon, my friends. So I checked the Green Mage page after Green Mage page, and the consistent themes are that they debuff enemies and buff allies, that they are essentially a support-focused job, which I will slide in here and say support-focused jobs don't exist in Final Fantasy XIV. Even our most supportive jobs, the Dancer, the Bard, they are absolutely having the majority of their damage contributed by their own skills. Dancer's technical step, for instance, is one of the heaviest hitting burst abilities in the entire game, even though a huge portion of their DPS is given out to allies in the form of buffs. Now, if you specifically wanted the aesthetic and hammer similar to Green Mage, I can't help much with that, but the gameplay style of Pictomancer described fully embodies what you would want from a green mage outside of causing status effects on enemies, but wait a second, is that the case? Let's go through this list of some skills that I think that we're going to see in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I could see the Pictomancer having effects similar to Oil, where Pictomancer uses a skill called Daub, which exists in Pictomancer and Bravely Default, the skill Daub, which douses the target in paint and increases the damage taken. Similar to if you put oil on a target, then you obviously want to cast fire on it to amplify the damage. The developers don't have fire damage on every job, and so Daub would instead allow everyone to contribute more damage because of the Pictomancer's buff. Sleep may be made into a caster roll action, as we already see repose for healers currently, although the use of that is questionable. But we do have sleep in game, so it might be shifted into the green mage's kit. I mean, Pictomancer's kit, my apologies. Now, silence, I do think, would be pretty reasonable to expect to have on a Pictomancer because it's an interrupt, and interrupts are generally useful in gameplay and used today. This has shown up in a bunch of raids, like we know that E8S, you had to silence the ads phase. We know that E1S, you had to silence the ads phase. What's with the ads phases? But my point is, I could see silence appearing. Shell and protect could come in the form of basically what we have with Red Mage's magic barrier, reducing the damage that the party takes. Or, and this is going to be a kind of crazy idea here, we can look at the Bard and we can look at Shell from the Green Mage and be like, hey, Shell would be like Bard's Trobador effect, AoE damage mitigation, and then we could have like Protect equivalent on Pictomancer be something similar to Bard's single target heal amplification. So maybe like something like we had old Palisade back in say like Stormblood times, ranged physical DPS had this like roll action of Palisade which would reduce the single target's damage taken. And dare I risk saying it, we have Leap here and Leap is a skill that we see for green mages that raises the movement speed of a target. Pictomancer may in fact get abilities similar to Expedient raising the party's movement speed. It may be even just a single target because this is a single target but a single target baby movement speed boost. Personally to me that sounds like way too much effort. I'm pretty sure it would be basically like similar to Expedient. And then Green Mage has Tranquility which comes as an accuracy buff to a single target. That may come in a buff in some other form. Most likely it will given everything that they've said about Pictomancer comparing it to Bard. Bard has many different ways to buff the team. Can't see why Pictomancer wouldn't be able to use Daub on on a target and then have some kind of buff for the party. Now the only status effect I don't see coming in some way or another for Predictomancer based on this list is lowering a target's accuracy via blind. That's like the only one that I cannot see right now coming. And why I say that is purely because status effects do not impact raid bosses. Like you can't slow or stun a savage or ultimate boss. Imagine if you could, that'd be funny. Which to end this video, I want to just have an open discussion that I think people are being way too harsh on the Pictomancer. I think that people saw that it wasn't literally directly green mage and that there's a lot of disappointment. I have literally seen my own subscriber numbers, people that I've had around for years, literally rage unsubscribe, which you know what? I'm not going to cry about. I'm doing it for fun. My day job is a software engineer. I'm very hashtag blessed and I definitely acknowledge that so like don't like if you don't want to be here don't be here like try, it, it's okay I just make these videos for fun and I hope that people vibe but 
There's a lot of disappointment right now in the community, for better or worse, but I think, genuinely, I truly think that you should not be disappointed. I truly believe, based on literally what they've translated, based on literally the slides, that we have basically gone Geomancer and Pictomancer, but without, like, the, like theme of the Geomancer and the Green Mage. Pictomancer is basically like Geomancer with paint, and Geomancer and Green Mage are pretty similar. Like, yes, Geomancer actually takes it a step further, placing down environments, which they called like the color effects, but when you look at Pictomancer, they directly said many times, both on the slides and verbally, that they place environments. Like, they, during the live translation, she specifically translated that the Pictomancer can draw monsters and environments, which the slide later embellished on, saying that they can also do weapons. So, I think that people are being way too harsh on the Pictomancer, and I think that if you wanted to play a green mage, if you want to play a Geomancer, I think Pictomancer does that. I genuinely do. I, I'm not bullshitting you. Based on everything they've said, I really do believe it. 